Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back, welcome back to a new Hearthstone video. I told you before and I will tell it to you again. Doesn't matter what you're playing as long as you have fun. And that's why today we're trying out another new deck that looks pretty interesting. Might not be the best one, but we are still trying it out. Even if we're losing, we will have fun. More fun than just playing the Shaman again and again and again. We will play a Freeze Mage deck today, but not the... Freeze mage that is just freezing your opponent with some ice block and then hit him in the face. But we are playing a real freeze mage with some frozen stuff like the uh, cryomancer. We will play stuff like the freezing potion, ice lands, decent, decent stuff. And I really like the hand. We might drop. Now oh, we're keeping the intellect. Let's just go for that. Original the decklist was made by Edward Nigma. I've posted quite a few decklists already by him. Uh, changed a few cards here on the decklist. Dropped in the Bloodmatch Salnos alongside uh, Berkeley Bully. These are two interesting cards for the deck in general. So uh, interesting side effect is also the Cryomancer is a 7-7 for 5 mana if you have a frozen unit on the board somewhere. And not as strong as the faceless, right? That one costs only 4 for 7-7. So that's a weakness. Hmm, Paladin is in general not a strong class, as we have seen yesterday in my video. So we might have a chance here. We will play the Source Apprentice, and then go for the Arcana Intellect next turn, and maybe the Frostbolt, if the Source Apprentice can survive here. So our opponent is dropping Murloc War Leader. That means he is playing with the Manifing combo in the end. We will, as said before, we are playing the Intellect here, throwing two more cards. A water elemental that's pretty decent we can drop that on the next turn also have another intellect for more card draw the murloc wall leader here will just die to the frost bolt so three in the face the ice lens is very valuable in our deck helps us to activate stuff like the archmage antonius which is our big finisher on the deck it will help us to activate the cryomancer for example so far we haven't one in the hand, but we can draw more cards here with the intellect. That would be an option. We could just go for the water metal, of course, next turn. Depends a bit on what he's doing with the apprentice. Going for loot hoarder. Hmm, if that's the case, then I really like to go for the intellect here instead of the water elemental. Now uh, that way we make sure that the apprentice stays on the board. We can kill the loot hoarder here with the fire blast. We're drawing more cards, potentially finding some decent stuff. Mana Rim and the Frost Caller. Hmm. Anyway, we need to kill the Lutone, that's for sure. Three more on the face. So far, I've tried the deck only in the casual mode. I had some uh, decent games with that. So it should work on the ladder as well. At least, I hope so. That's a Doomsayer. Which is also not a problem because we can just do the Fireball at the moment. But maybe oh, that's a Cryomancer. <laughs> Guess it will be the fireball. Could play the mana vim alongside. If we want to hit that with the source apprentice as well, normally we don't like that. We will just play fireball and I mean we could play the Salnos here alongside. And fireball is dealing seven, we will kill the small silver and recruit. He might then, of course, just clear the board with the Consecration. Well, that's a risk I like to take. At least we're getting another card draw here from the Blood Mage. Well, not that bad. Solemn Vigil. Alright. Need to be careful for the equality here. If we just drop the Cryomancer right now, that could be dangerous. If he's just dropping equality, the Cryomancer is going down. Well, not sure if we want to do that here. We could also just drop the Water Elemental, wait for the equality and then drop the Cryomancer next turn. That might be better in this situation. That's also why we are not dropping the Flame Waker at this point. He's currently at 19 life. That's still a lot to go. And with the Flame Waker we would only deal uh, it would be 4 from the spells and another 4 or 5 from the Islands would be 9 extra damage. So we would have been still at 10 life. Or even 11 because then we weren't maybe not able to play the Fire Blast. Mm. 
If we are picking up Fireball now for the next turn and he's not clearing the whole board, then the Flame Waker would be a really good turn. There's equality, so as expected, he's clearing the board. We're drawing one card from the Thalnos, getting the Source Apprentice. It's one little reinforce. And there was the Fireball. Ooh. Close. Really close. Though we could. We could, we could play the Cryomancer as a 7 7, that's for sure. We have the Freezing Potion, we have the full Ice Lands. So that would be enough here for an activation. The question is if we want to do that. And I don't think so at the moment. We might just play the, the Frost Collar here, Mana Whim, and let's kill the Silver Hand Recruit. So the Frost Caller, if we are playing a spell, he's freezing a random enemy. That could be the hero, could be any of the units that are staying on the board. And then the Cryomancer can drop here. He has played one equality, so there's only one more. Going for the two silver champion. Ooh, and a weaker flame burn bristle. I really like to take out the weaker flame. And we got ooh, another Ice Lands. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That is indeed a lot of damage we could push. If we go Flame Waker, Apprentice, Ice Lands, Ice Lands, Freezing Potion, Fireball. Oh, that might be even good enough to kill him. It depends on if we can take up the Wicker Flame Burn Bristle. And normally with so much pink damage, that should be possible. If we are taking out the Wicker Flame Burn Bristle, he is going down. We will push 8 damage. We are pushing 12 damage. The Mana Whim is getting really strong. And then he's dying. So I like to take the risk here. Let's try that. Let's freeze this one. Should be possible. To kill this one. Oh yeah, well, that's a victory. Easy peasy, not even needed the Cryomancer. Well, let's try again and again we have a Paladin here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, we will just replace everything. Looking for that juicy early card. Uh, not happening unfortunately. So we are seeing Blood Mage Salinas, a Drake, Freezing Potion, Shatter. With the Freezing Potion and the Shatter, we can kill whatever we like. But normally for the early game, that is not too great. Way too costly. Yeah, we're just another Drake. So let's just pass here. See what our opponent is doing. Most likely that's another anything deck. But you can't be sure, you never know. Of course, we are just killing the Sylvan Recruit. No point in doing something different. Horse Rider. Hmm. Horse Rider is normally not in an anything deck. Could be mistaken here, but that shouldn't be. And we will just get rid of the Divine Shield here. We have a Flame Waker. So if needed, we could just play Flame Waker, Coin, Hunt. Maybe something else. Freezing Potion, Shatter. Ooh, Blessing of Kings. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff indeed. If we drop the Frost Caller here and go for the coin, if the Horse Rider is getting frozen, we can just kill it with the Shatter. I mean, if not, then we will just waste some resources, so might be better to just go for the Freezing Potion and the Shatter here in the situation. Definitely don't want to take too much damage. So take that one out. We're down to 22, but everything is in a good range right now. Nothing too worrisome. Looks like he's playing some sort of buff paladin with some very aggressive charge units. Balance. Uh, will you get some durability here? Nope. 
Blood Knight. Okay, so he's playing the Blood Knight and the Divine Paladin. With lots of lots of Divine Shield units like the Wig of Embermbrizzle here, the Argent Squire, stuff like that. Ah, uh, the Lance. The Lance is a problem. That's for sure. The Wig of Embermbrizzle is also a problem. So we could just take out the drake if we drop that here he will use the weapon and the wicker flame burn bristle to take out the drake other option we have would only to hit the wicker flame burn bristle i don't like that too much so i guess we are losing the drake here unfortunately blizzard oh yeah blizzard might be helpful railing blade wicker flame burn bristle now up to three blood knight is up to six and he is just going for the face. Oh, you are greedy. You are very greedy. So I would assume a blizzard here and a trade is good enough. But so he's pushing another three into the face with the weapon. Yay. That is great. Drawing a bunch of new cards. With the divine favor, he has five damage to push you into the face. So we would be down to nine. Well, also, oh man, seriously, patches. What a bunch of bullshit. Yes, we are freezing some stuff. Let's just do that. Let's freeze everything on the board. He's doing. Such a bullshit deck. So the hero is frozen. Every unit is frozen. Unfortunately, we are out of out of spells here in the situation. So we're not able to make a huge turn with the flame waker and some spells. But super great that everyone is running patches. Yeah, commander. Just go for the face. You're great. Not on my watch. And another divine shield. So we have three divine shields on the board. Oh, we are drawing an intellect. Let's see. We are freezing two units here. And of course we're not drawing any sort of spell. We're freezing the more or less strongest ones here. And we're hitting the or the commander two times. Can get rid of most of the damage here. He still has a patches. And with six cards, seven cards in the hand, that should be enough for him to win. Yeah, Leroy Jenkins. At least you have to give him credit for running an interesting paladin deck. But seriously, patches, small time buccaneer. Great choice, dude. Great choice. These are nice cards. So we lost that one. Game three. And um, this time we are up against the Druid, which could be a bit tougher because the Druid will probably play some Jade stuff. So boring as hell. And we need to kill him then in one single turn with a single strike, like with the Archmage and Tony Death. That could give us a lot of burst potential against the Druid. Otherwise, a Flame Waker turn, a huge one, might be very useful. So we have the Apprentice here. We are starting and we have the Intellect. I like that. So we are keeping those two, dropping the Thalnos. Hope to find a decent early destruction card as well. Yeah, just like the Frostbolt. So with that, we could go into the Apprentice on two and then play the Intellect and the Frostbolt on three. Oh, altogether one drop. Great start. So let's try that one. And he is not doing anything. Oh, so I would say the apprentice is still good. We are getting the man of him a bit weaker here, but he will get bigger next turn and we have the option to play more cards on the next turn because of the apprentice. So it should be fine this way. And I don't like to just use the frostbolt here into the face. There's a shapeshift. So pretty slow start. What are you doing? Hitting the worm for one, but he's not using his inner weight and stuff like that. There's a Berkeley bully, depending on his deck, that might be very strong. Let's draw two cards. 
Hope the Antoni does. And we got the Drake. So, I would say we will keep the Frostbolt. We are dealing uh, less damage right now, but the Antoni does. Against the Druid, that is pretty good. So let's just go for the face. And uh, that means we have two cheap spells here. With the Bully, we could create one or two coins at least. And then the Antoni does should give us at least two to three fireballs. Now for five mana, what are you playing? Druid of the Claw, wow, as a charge unit. That's interesting. There's also the Cryomancer. Hmm. So if we just go Cryomancer Freezing Potion next turn, he will be at 7-7. Seven, seven. The Druid in general has a hard time to clear that. And I like that as well. So we could do that. And still getting more spells, more coins here with the Bully. Let's kill his 4-2 right now with the Frostbolt. And let's push 4 more damage into the face. Pushing him already down to 20. So we just want to make sure that we have enough damage already in his face so that the Antonias just needs two, maybe two fireballs for the finishing blow. That would be indeed great. Not sure what his plan here is. So far everything is pretty weak. The Wrath. Will you draw a card? He will draw a card and take three more damage. So he's getting one armor. That means he's down to 18. Ooh, also this one. Okay, you know what? The board is still empty, and in that case, we will go for the bully instead of the cryomancer. If he's dropping big unit, which is unlikely, we can just play freezing potion and the cryomancer alongside the mana room here. So he would still then need some sort of spell to kill the bully. He's going for the Drake. Excellent choice. There's a blizzard. So still like that like that here. Freezing Potion onto the Drake. Cryomancer is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Under him is getting buffed. We will push 4 more on the face. He's down to 14. And right now our board consists already at 13 damage. So that's excellent. With the Blizzard we will buff the Mana Whim so that would be even more damage. And if he wants to take down the bully, he needs to give us a coin. He's not able to drop any unit right now. It would be only the Leroy Jenkins, but if he's dropping the Leroy Jenkins, seriously, then he's just dying because we have too much damage already on board. Yeah, that's a 7-7 seven, seven for 5. You're seeing that right. Not sure why he was playing so, so slow. What to do? There should be some sort of trick. As a swipe. Okay, so we are getting one coin here from the bully. And there is still three units on board, so you would need more help. No what else? What else will you do? If he's giving us another coin, we can just go Antonidas. Double coin and double fireball. So there's a coin, we're getting another coin. Ooh, that looks like way more fireballs. We're getting three coins here. He's going for the armor, I would assume. There you go. <laughs> Another Cryomancer. And because we have so many coins that we are playing here, the mana web is also getting bigger. Well, that's a pretty huge turn now. Let's go for that. That is one coin. Two coin. Three coins. We have three fireballs. We can push currently, uh, it will be 16 damage plus the fire blast. There's no need to take care of the Drake here. We are just going for the face. So he's down to six. We will push one with the fire blast. So even one fireball is good enough next turn. Now let's assume he is going for a feral rage. Then he would be back to 13. But even then, double fireball would be good enough. Got another swipe. We'll be getting another coin. We still have the bully. What are you doing? <laughs> that was an excellent game. I can see. That's a concede, so we are taking this one on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the end of today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed the deck. 
as much as I did because it is a fun deck. Uh, the results in the end weren't that great. I had uh, played around six games, if I remember correctly, and won three, lost three. So we are even here. Not the greatest win rate, but it's it's good for a change. You want to test out more decks than just playing the normal meta stuff. That is boring as hell currently. Really waiting for the balance changes at the end of the month. Maybe then it is getting a bit better. You never know what they are trying to do at Blizzard. Anyway, thank you all for watching for today. Try out the deck. Give me feedback in the comment section. And see you then in the next episode. Bye bye. Have a good night.